Averick is going to teach essential skills to survive in the Irish wilderness. Maraid. Shaw. And Owen are today's wannabe adventurers. Will they be up for Averick's challenge? Welcome to survival school. When you're in the woods, sometimes you guys need a light source. My challenge for you today is you're going to make a torch. Each one of you is going to go out and select a stick. We're going to give you some jute string. You're going to tie the jute on there, melt some pitch. Whoever makes the best torch with the brightest light is going to win my challenge today. So the things you need to start with is you're going to go out and find a stick to, as your torch. We're going to give you a little bit of jute to tie around your stick, all right? Then we're going to give you some of this. This is pine resin, and this is going to melt and make a gooey bit that really burns well. We're going to have to put this into the fire, so we're going to put this stuff into a kettle, and we're going to put the kettle on the fire. Start that melting. Now, in the meantime, we can get this stick. We're going to tie some jute around the end of this. The jute's really important because it's going to absorb that melted pitch. It's going to burn really, really well. I think it's going to be quite hard because I'm not really any good at tying the knots. If you have it nice and melted like that, you're going to throw in just a little bit of white ash to harden it. I think it'll be okay, but that resin stuff looks a bit smelly. And that's my challenge to you. Who can make the brightest torch? I think it's going to be easy enough. Favorite's instructions were pretty clear. Ooh, easy, eh? Well, we'll see. The guys forged through the woodland to find the right sticks for their torches. All right, so each of you gets a little bit of juice. For the best result, wrap the jute string carefully and tightly around the stick. Gloves on, excellent. We're going to put the pots in. Okay, the pitch pine is ready to go, it's melted. They now dip their sticks into the melted glue. You want to take it out, let it harden for about 10 seconds, all this goo. Let it harden, gets gets uh, solid, and then when you put it back in there, you can get actually a second layer and a third layer and get a really big torch. Now, let's see who has the brightest flame. Light them up. All right, let's see. Pull them out. Put them up here. All three of these are excellent, good flames, but my challenge was which one of you guys could make a torch with the brightest flame. And after seeing all three of these, I'm going to have to say, I think this one is brighter. Well done. I feel thrilled that my flame was really big and that I beat the boys. 